Hi, Cindy Cross here from the Post and Rail and it's a beautiful freezing winter's morning and it's perfect time to prune your fruit trees so I'd love to show you how to do that. Um, there are three rules and behind me here is this lovely um, quite large apricot tree and I'm going to prune that for you today but the three rules of fruit tree pruning and they're really more guidelines um, they are first remove dead diseased and dying wood so anything that looks a little ordinary that didn't perform last year that's a bit lackluster that limb's gotta go that's rule number one rule number two is remove any limbs and branches that cross over each other because where they cross over is a really good opportunity for disease and bugs to get into your tree so that's rule number two they're pretty easy so far rule number three guideline number three I should say is try and prune to a vase shape and that means by removing the middle of the plant and by doing that you actually allow airflow into the middle of your plant you get less bug problems less fungal problems and it just opens up the plant now the other thing I like to do is because I'm vertically challenged um, I really like to make sure that the tree gets pruned back to five foot tall this means that it can be easily um, netted come the fruiting season and it's just a really good way of um, keeping it in a nice shape now I really like this tree I actually fixed this one last summer I did a summer prune because it was really scraggly and I hacked it back quite hard now what that's given me is some lovely growth to actually choose from to get a good shape back now I like to get all the branches to come out um, and start their um, V shape their vase shape nice and low I don't actually like the one trunk and then the canopy above because your fruit will be um, out of your reach so let's keep the plant nice and low and all the side branching happening from a low see all of these how they've all separated into their different branches and it's nice and low to the ground that's a brilliant way to do it and today I'm actually going to be removing the big branches with my recipro saw which is my favorite tool one of many favorite tools um, and then I'm going to clean up the smaller ones with this but to be honest I don't expect to use this a lot so I'm just going to get started do a little wander and I'll put a little montage bit in for you so you're not here for the whole entire time all right <laughs> And the reason for that is I did give it that summer prune and so I've got lots and lots of new growth now this growth is where next year's fruits going to come from so I don't actually want to remove a lot now I'm just going to reduce the top canopy down to five foot tall I've really opened up the middle and removed any growth that was heading into the middle of the plant um, and any branches that were crossing over so now I'm going to swap to the um, semi long handled secateurs and uh, whip around the tree again Shame. I really do like using the recipro saw and I don't know if you've noticed but bring back the leg warmers <laughs> it's freezing
it's growing directly into the middle of the plant. So it's actually a really good idea and timing while it's small like this to remove it. Well, actually from start to finish this filming went for eight minutes um, and I was going quite slowly for your benefit but let me just take you into the middle of this plant now give you another direction so here's the middle of the plant the fruit tree and it's now open there's physically no branches heading inwards give you another angle so this part of the tree is now empty of foliage and have removed all foliage that's heading into the plant. Now you can see here there's quite a big gap and I've got a little branch coming on so it's going to fill up that whole circular motion of the tree and everything here is five to six foot tall and that gives me a lovely framework to go by and hopefully get a lot of fruit. So I hope this has helped. Um, I appreciate you watching and um, really that's as easy as it is. So if you do that every year, you'll end up with a fruit tree that bears all of its fruit from here down. And um, that makes it easier to net and um, also just get, keeps the plant nice and neat and tidy and doesn't end up to be a humongous giant in the garden. So netting a humongous tree is hard work. Um, but realistically, if you've ever seen an apricot fruit, they generally don't fruit on the tippy tops anyway. So any of that new summer growth won't have the fruit on it. It will be on the side branches. The side branches produce the fruit. Hope this has helped. Have a great day. And please buy some leg warmers. They're really brilliant. <laughs>